guys, my name is Marnie and I'm a professional wing girl and owner of the Wing Girl Method, which means it's my job to tell you tons of secrets about women so you can be totally successful with them. So people ask me lots of questions about style. I mean, like I kind of stylish, but I don't really know a lot about style. I'm not the expert on style. But when my clients ask me about what they should wear, what works for them, I call in my expert, Goldie, who is an amazing style expert. So she is going to answer this question from Brad. What are the top staple items that every man needs? I hear this question all the time and as an image consultant I see that it's my job to help my clients find their unique personal style that aligns with their unique true selves. However, there are a handful of essential items that I think every man should own regardless of age, size, or style. The staple pieces I'm about to suggest I feel are all very versatile and depending on how you style them can be worn for any occasion whether it be a casual shopping trip to Whole Foods or a night on the town with your hottie. Um, but side note, this does not include black tie, which usually calls for a tux. Okay, here goes. First item of business, the black or charcoal gray suit. A suit is a great investment. Obviously, you could wear the suit all together for a dressed up look, or you can break the pieces up and style them with more casual items like jeans or a t-shirt. I suggest finding a suit that is slim fit in a fabrication that's not too shiny. Okay. I say this because a shiny suit tends to be appropriate for only dressy occasions, whereas a more matte and casual fabrication could lend itself to both casual and dressy situations. Versatility is your best friend, especially when you're working with a limited budget or not a big clothes horse. Yeah. Yeah. Next <laughs> item, the black and white button down. It just can't go wrong with the button down. In my opinion, this is the most versatile and flattering type of shirt any man could wear. Same as the suit, I suggest finding a button down that's slim fit and in similar fabrication that could work in both dressy and casual situations. Okay, cool. Next item, the crew neck t-shirt in black, gray, and white. T-shirts are great, but not all of them are created equal. It all has to do with the fabrication, as usual. You know when you get a free t-shirt for running a marathon? Picture it. The thick collar, the thick feel of the fabric, and boxy fit, that's all wrong. Look for the opposite. Look for one that is super soft, somewhat of a slim fit, and it has a thin band around the collar. I'm also a big fan of the long sleeve t-shirt. And no graphics, keep it simple. Next item the black or dark gray crew neck slimish fit sweater. A lightweight crew neck cotton blend or cashmere sweater can be worn on its own or as a layering piece over a button down. This item is super versatile and chic. I love versatility. <laughs> Next item on the list, slim to straight legged black or dark denim, no fade denim jeans. Okay, good stuff. All right. Yeah. In my opinion, one of the most important things about finding the right jean is making sure the color of the stitching on the jean matches the color of the fabric of the pants. Okay. This is because traditional yellow or white stitching can make a jean appear casual and will look incongruous when paired with a more sophisticated item like a sport coat. Whereas if you find one with tonal stitching, at first glance, your jeans could look like trousers and that's a good thing. All right. mm -hmm. Next item, the black leather sneakers. Black leather sneakers with a black bottom sole, very important, is a great versatile shoe that you could wear casually or dressy depending on how you style the look. Okay. Next item, the black Chelsea boot. My current favorite boot is the Chelsea boot. I love this boot because it could be worn with a suit no problem or worn with t-shirt and jeans. I would opt for a medium to no shine finish so you can wear the boot for most occasions. Shiny equals dressy. Next item, sexy sunglasses. A nice pair of black or gray tortoise shell or simple gray pair are the perfect item to top off a good look. 
Sunglasses are an excellent item to splurge on, as a good designer pair could bring any old outfit up a few notches. So I'm not a huge fan of aviators or sporty looking glasses, FYI, but I do like the look of Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but suggest getting something that is a variation of this style so you don't end up looking like every other wannabe hipster. Got it. And last but not least, the fashion haircut. Get next level with the hot haircut. I've seen so many of my guys transform from whatevs to major head turner, all because of changing up their hair. And since everyone has different hair types and head shapes and desired style, I can't suggest one go-to look, but I can suggest to find a trendy salon and stylist that you do trust to do the do. It's worth the extra bucks to have someone with skill and artistic vision to do your hair. Okay, well, thank you very much, Goldie. Oh, that was you're awesome welcome. advice. Yeah. How, how do I look? Always great, oh, Marnie. Always thank you. great. Thank you. That was awesome. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on all the important insider information I'll be sharing about what women want right here on Ask Men. If there's a topic or question that you want me to answer, make sure to tell me in the comments section below. Once again, I'm Marnie, your very own personal wing girl and owner of the wing girl method. I'll see you soon.